the physical body is like a map and different aspects of your body correlate to different energies. And we want to think about the left side of the body often correlates to the feminine energy. The right side of the body correlates to the masculine. So if we think about left as feminine, it could be mother stuff, mother issues, mother challenges, our own way of mothering or being mothered. Right side is going to link in with father energy. Left side ties in with the ability to receive. Right side ties in with the ability to give, to step forward in the world. So anytime you have issues around receiving, think about left side, the feminine energy, the mother energy. Are you holding patterns of how mother receives? Maybe releasing that. Issues with the right side of the body. Are you holding issues and energies, patterns of the father in particular, maybe the father body patterns? The neck and the shoulders tie in with responsibility, how we hold responsibility, the weight of the world on our shoulders. And then I'm just going to kind of randomly go through the body and link in different organs. This ties into Chinese medicine. So when we think about the eyes, the eyes are controlled by the liver. The liver also controls the tendons and your ligaments. So anytime you've got tendon ligament issues, joint stuff, we're going to think about the, the liver, but joints also are controlled by the kidneys. The kidneys are right at the low back, just kind of above your hips, depending on how long your waist is. And the kidneys tie into the emotion of fear. It's also tied into the season of the winter and the element of water. And we're going to go back to the liver. The liver ties into the flavor of sour. So like people who love to drink pickle juice. That is an indicator that they're trying to move the liver energy or that sweet and sour is tied in. The sweet and sour is tied in with the spleen and the liver. When the liver is really tight, we'll be more reactive. We'll get angry and frustrated. And then the liver is linked in with the gallbladder and the gallbladder ties into resentment. If the liver and the gallbladder are super tight and they're not balanced, they'll attack the stomach and the spleen and create heartburn. We're not actually having heartburn because of our stomach and spleen. We're having heartburn because liver energy is attacking the stomach and the spleen, weakening the stomach and the spleen, and then the stomach and the spleen, or really the stomach, can't control the digestive juices, gastric, gastric juices. And so it, because it's weak, because it's being attacked, then we get that heartburn or even hiatal hernias. The spleen is tied in with that flavor of the sweet. So if we have lots of sugar cravings, we're going to think spleen. How can we strengthen the spleen? And I personally do it with root vegetables. If you're not a vegetarian, you could do it with um, protein, protein and root veggies, full sweets. And they actually have online, you can Google a food chart for specific organs and strengthening your organs. So you can eat foods that strengthen the spleen or foods that help tonify and move that liver energy. Then when we think about the, and the pancreas is also tied in with that sweet energy. And whenever we eat sweets, do we get a forehead uh, headache if you get a forehead headache, that means that you've got too much sugar in your diet or your body's having a hard time digesting that sugar. So decrease the sugar load, and that might actually get rid of your forehead headache. When you have a headache that comes more in the temples, that's going to be more of a gallbladder headache, kind of wraps around the sides. If you have more of a eyes headache, then that's going to be tied actually in with the liver or the stomach, like a face headache, stomach channel comes here. The back of the head headache is going to be tied in with your urinary bladder and sometimes kidney because the urinary bladder and the kidney are in connection with each other. Whenever we have heart stuff going on, we want to think actually about the kidneys. So the kidneys help support the heart and you just want to be very mindful about doing the good things for the kidneys not doing too much caffeine, drinking enough water, and drinking water in little sips. I'm kind of going all over the place, but spleen is interesting. If you eat too much sugar, 
then you can get a thing called sugar toes. And in some worlds, we call those bunions that are on, you've got your big toe here. So if I'm thinking about my left foot and I've got my big toe and there's that little joint. And when that joint of the big toe gets big and it creates this bunion in Chinese medicine, we call that sugar toes. And we want to decrease sugar to get rid of our sugar toes. And on the foot, kind of at the arch, it's the side of the foot. If you ever feel really achy, that's actually the spleen channel. And it's probably because you just ate too much sugar. And now your spleen channel is having a hard time and you're feeling achy in your foot on that spleen channel. And again, you can Google acupuncture, cha uh, acupuncture chart and take a look at different meridian lines because we'll actually feel it on the meridian lines. So that's my brief overview of some of the systems in the body and how it correlates to organs, sweets, foods, letting go, father energy, stepping forward in life, receiving in life. 